Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I like you to tell from the title of this video. Today's video is going to be my Nika Hot Pink Sale Haul. Now first of all let me just tell you this is not just my Nika Hot Pink Sale Haul but there was an order that I placed. Um, basically there have been a couple of Nika orders that I've placed in the whole month of July and I also shopped uh, and I placed an order during the Dot & Key anniversary sale, I believe. They had their second anniversary sale and they had like 25 to 30% off on their website. So I bought a couple of products then as well. So even though um, everything in this video can be shopped on Nika and the Hot Pink sale is a great time to buy it because I've never seen um, so many discounts in so many deals. Like the whole website i feel like pretty much every single thing that nika sells and that is listed on nika is on some sort of sale and i've never seen such a big sale like they're not just hyping it for the sake of hyping it but they actually mean it like some of the products that i found on discounts i have never ever seen on discounts like lineage i've never seen lineage on discount ever on nika except you know they sell free, they give you free samples etc but like an actual um, like discount on the price I've never ever seen that so um, yeah that's the reason why I'm showing you everything basically that I have bought probably in the month of July and everything can be bought on Nika unless not until it's out of stock by now which some of these things probably might be out of stock uh, but yeah I still thought I'll get up this video for you guys today because today is the last day of the um, haul so if you were still thinking about you know what I want to probably save some money and I don't want to buy don't go ahead and buy because um you know there may be some things that you could never ever find in discount otherwise but i feel like makeup and skincare is not a top priority for a lot of people for me i did want to buy a lot of these things mainly for review purposes like um you're going to see a lot of dot and key things and a lot of mama Earth things as well mainly because i'm planning on doing like entire brand reviews for those and then there were a lot of other things as well which i wanted to get my hands on so that is why i'm doing this haul and i basically bought all of these things and this probably might be the longest haul that i've ever ever like not the longest but probably the longest as well but one of the biggest hauls that i've ever 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 done so uh, yeah if this video is super duper long i'm really sorry but there are a lot of products and i'm not going to make this video any further longer so we're going to dive right in and i'm going to show you everything that i bought but before that i just want to quickly remind you that if you're new to my channel please 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 go ahead and subscribe and um, you know your subscribe is just a small little thing on your part but you have no idea how much it means to me and so many of you guys who are subscribed are actually uh, no some so many of you guys who watch my videos are actually not subscribed which makes me really sad so please Please go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and if you want to be updated as to every single time I'm posting videos which is three times in a week then make sure that you also click on the bell button which is the next to subscribe button but yeah now let's finally dive right in and get started and I'll show you everything that I bought. Um, let me quickly show you these two industry products which again I bought earlier I didn't buy them during the Nika uh, hot pink sale but I saw these two on a 20% off maybe like two weeks ago um i don't know if they're still in stock or they have some sort of discount right now but again links for everything will be in the description box you can just click on the link and you know check what the prices are check if it's in stock or not but i got these two and i'm also going to be reviewing these two as a part of my hashtag bought the hype series which again if you're new you might not know that i'm constantly trying and testing out some slightly more expensive pricier skincare products which i feel like are super popular everyone talks about them everyone raves about them and i share with you if i actually feel like you know it's worth the money it's worth all the hype it gets or not so these two i will be trying and testing out for that so yeah i got them um and now let's move on to all the dot and things that i bought um on their website um again some of these things are probably out of stock by now on nika but you can just go ahead and check I got the uh, Dot & Key Skin Plumping Moisture Infusion Water Sleeping Mask and also the Vitamin C um, Sleeping Mask and the um, Melt Away Makeup Remover Balm. So I got these three and then I got a couple of things for my mom as well which I'm not going to show you and then another Dot & Key product that I got is their Hydro Peel Glow Potion 10% AHA Plus 
to person B to exfoliating serum this I actually got during the hot pink sale because this goes out of stock really really quickly and even right now I don't believe this is on stock on Nykaa and okay two products I actually forgot to get because I bought them from the website but it's the uh, vitamin C uh, serum and the uh, anti-acne serum by Dot & Keep I also bought both of those and those were actually repurchases I've used them already I really really love them by the way, if you can hear a crow, there's a crow in my window and I'm really sorry, I can't do anything about it. But yeah, I was saying that those two are actually repurchases and I have a dot and key um, like skincare review video, which I'm also going to leave a link in the description box. I've raved about those two more in detail in that video and also in other videos. Um, so if you're a regular subscriber, you would know that. But if you're new and you want to know my thoughts on dot and key products, then you can go ahead and check that out. And I will be doing a part two. Of the skincare review video and i'm sorry i don't know what happened to my voice there <coughs> sorry uh, i will be doing a part two skincare review video with these products right here all of these so yeah stay tuned for that um then uh, again i spoke about mama earth already i'm going to be doing a skincare brand review on them as well so i bought a lot of products for that so i got the mama earth vitamin c sleeping mask with vitamin c and aloe vera I got the Skin Correct Face Serum with Niacinamide and Ginger Extract. I got the Skin Illuminate Face Serum with Vitamin C and Turmeric. And um, the Skin Plump Face Serum with Hyaluronic Acid and Rose Oil. I got two face masks also from Mama Earth. The C3 Face Mask with Charcoal, Coffee and Clay. The Neem Face Mask with Neem and Tea Tree. This one is for pimples and zits. As you know me, you know I have acne prone skin. Um, yeah, uh, I also got their Mama Earth Ultra Light Indian Sunscreen. Now this one was actually a slight mistake. Um, I read this at Ultra Light, like I read this as Ultra Light Gel Sunscreen. So I was assuming this is a gel, but this is actually not a gel. I swatched a little bit of it. Um, let me actually show you quickly now that i'm talking about it it's more of a cream like it's a white cream and um, it is lightweight like i know right now it looks super creamy and my hoodie is not helping because i can't spread much but yeah like you can see it is quick absorbing i haven't used it on my face so i can't uh, tell you how um, it's going to apply like how well it's going to spread and if it's going to like get all white and you know leave a white cast or something like that so that i will try and test out again on my face and you will know in the skincare review video i also got the vitamin c face toner and i also did get a face wash which i can't find okay found it the tea tree face wash also by mama earth so i'm pretty sure those were all the mama earth products that i got and talking about face washes, I went a little face wash crazy. Some of these were your guys' recommendations because I feel like I'm running low and I don't have a lot of face washes in my collection right now. And there was a sale, so I went a little ham and I got like 10 different face washes. So don't judge me. If you are like a really old subscriber, like you've been here for maybe over a year or two maybe, you would know that back in the day, face wash was something that I loved trying out so much. Like now I'm more into serums and sometimes even moisturizers and stuff but uh, back in the day i used to love trying out face wash so much and i've just gotten over it over it a little bit but now i'm a little bit back into it so i repurchased actually the himalaya fresh start oil clear face wash the blueberry one one of you guys i think recommended this and i have used this in the past it was a repurchase i really liked this so i got a new one um, I also uh, decided to try out the Kaya Everyday Essentials Soothing Cleansing Gel. I love the, the salicylic acid one by them and um, I don't know how this one is different but uh, yeah it's, it's a gel cleanser like a simple gel cleanser so I got that. I also got the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Clearing Face Wash. This I was really happy came actually back in stock um, on Nykaa for the hot pink sale. 
and they also had like maybe or 10 15 20 i don't remember how much percent but they had an off on this and this is like a very big bottle this is 250 ml so um yeah even though it's a slightly more expensive one like this is 695 that is the mrp by the way not the discounted price but i feel like it's gonna last like for months and months and months maybe like six months or so not sure but really excited to try that one out um there are more face washes by the way so don't think this is it it's not uh i also again repurchased my holy grail favorite nika uh, why am i saying nika nivea purifying face wash for mixed to oily skin so combination to oily skin i love this stuff it's my third fourth second i don't remember definitely not second maybe third or fourth tube of that one then i also got another kaya one the kaya youth hydro replenish gentle face wash um again i I read the description it was a gel face wash. I was like, let's buy this. Uh, by the way, I am very much into gel face wash, gel face washes. I don't like foamy, creamy face washes. They just feel super weird on my skin, and then some of them even dry out my skin. So I'm pretty sure all of these are only, only, only gel face washes. Uh, again, haven't used them, so I can't, uh, I can't be hundred percent sure. But that's what the description of the products said. So that's why I bought them. And then I got two of the Body Cupid face washes. I got the Vitamin C Brightening Face Wash and the Deep Clarifying Face Wash for dry and aging skin. I've never seen a clarifying face wash for dry and aging skin. My skin is obviously not aging right now. And it's not dry either, but it said that it had vitamin E and hyaluronic acid. And these are sulfate free as well, by the way. So if you're looking for sulfate free face washes, then both of them are really good. So yeah, I haven't tried anything from Body Cupid by the way. This is my first time trying something from them. Um, what else? Uh, I uh, repurchased my Vow hair mask. This is the one for dry and damaged hair. Uh, there is uh, I've spoken about this already. That was the one that was in my shower, and uh, I am out of that one. So I repurchased a new one, and I by the way have more Vow hair masks, which I'll talk about in a bit. But the dry and damaged one, I would highly recommend if you have drier ends or if you have dry hair and you want something that you know nourishes, moisturizes them and doesn't make them look as dry keep in mind my hair looks a little dry right now because today is like my third hair day so yeah don't don't judge by the current situation um i also made another repurchase this is the vlcc detan sunscreen gel cream spf 50 this is a great uh, more moisturizing creamy gel kind of a sunscreen i would like to use this in the winters and i know winters are a couple of months away but i still thought i will buy this uh, again sale makes you buy things and it's okay i mean i have a lot of time to repurchase this the expiry is nowhere near by the way that reminds me um, a lot of you have told me that you know what you're a little apprehensive buying during sales because you feel like um, they're selling you products which are like close to expiry which is why they have crazy discounts I checked the expiry of all of these products and none of them have an expiry of 2020 it's 21 or 22 generally so definitely keep that in mind and if you see that there's a product that is close to its expiry then you know just return it you know it's not worth it if you're not going to be able to use it up for the expiry so yeah if you notice that with Nika you can definitely return or exchange the products they'll send you a replacement and they'll take the product back or something so definitely apply for that um you have the option on the app but i'm pretty sure on the website as well so definitely check that out um anyways moving on um uh, by the way i bought a lot of hair masks as well and not all of these are for me let me just tell you that before you judge me um i think half of it is for me and half of it is for my mom like this one is definitely for me because i love this i'm not going to share it with my mom but then i also bought three more wow hair masks um i got the one for normal hair this one um, has wheat and soy uh, amino acids and moroccan argan oil this one i believe was for my mom if i'm not sure no this one was for me uh, and these two were for her so there is um, anti-breakage moisturizing and restoring and there is apple cider as well so i believe these two were for um, her and then those two were for me 
uh, again you can read the description of the products um, for you to like figure out which one is good for what kind of hair and then accordingly pick out what will be good for your hair type i just got all of them because i wanted to again do like a comparison video review them and get some hair masks for my mom as well because she really needs that like her hair is dry from root to tip and she also has a slightly drier scalp as well so i'm trying to get her into taking better care of her hair so i decided to get some hair masks hair masks for her and the last hair mask i promise this is the last hair mask uh, it's the cocoon beauty nourishing hair mask with olive oil tea tree and apple this one is for normal hair again this one i feel like is always out of stock for some reason or like i don't know because if they have less pieces that they stock or it's super popular because i don't know i'm really talking about it on youtube like i've not seen uh you know youtubers and influencers talk about this ever but i feel like this is always out of stock and i'm never able to get my hands on it so now that i found it on stock i was like i am going to grab this asap um now there is a little bit more skin care and then i'll talk about makeup at the end um yeah this is another face wash by the way see i was not done with face washes this one is the mac caffeine or uh, naked and raw coffee face wash again one of you recommended this to me and then when i posted about it on instagram my best friend uh, like one of my really close friends also uh, commented and like messaged me and she was like i have this one too and it's really nice so uh that's the reason why i grabbed this and yeah I I also kind of like the fact that you know it came in a outer packaging I know it's a little unnecessary but normally face washes don't come with like in cardboard boxes so I was surprised to see this one on a cardboard box then I also got the Rekil how how do you pronounce this brand please tell me because I have no idea it's R E then there's an apostrophe E Q U I L it and it's their vitamin C face toner so um i got this one as well and i really purchased the blossom gocha aroma magic aloe vera sunscreen gel spf 20 uh this one i'm going to be talking about i think in my um july favorites um so you might have not seen me talk about this yet but um yeah uh this one is a really great one i had this smaller size and i feel like i'm close to being out of it and i wanted to repurchase this so i got the bigger size um, we're almost done with skin care i promise we're almost done mm, yeah is that all the skin care uh i also repurchased the kaya a uh, light and smooth under eye gel now this one i've spoken about quite a bit and i always say that it's not necessary for you to specifically buy an under eye cream you can just use a regular moisturizer but this one i really really enjoy using and it's like a feel good product or uh, doesn't really you know help with dark circles or anything at least i feel like it doesn't help with dark circles because first of all i don't have a lot of dark circles so i can't comment on that but it's a feel good product i really like it and this one i'm pretty sure had 25% off um and it is a more expensive eye cream like this one is almost 500 bucks So when you get a twenty five percent off on something that you really like but don't want to spend your money on, I think it's a great time to buy it because otherwise you won't really be able to get it at such a cheap price. So that's the reason why I repurchased this one. And um, this one I'm pretty sure came free because I normally don't actually spend my money on hand creams. Uh, this is the Mac Caffeine uh, Naked and Raw Coffee Hand Cream. This one I believe came free because I bought the Mac Caffeine face wash and they had like an offer or something. Uh, I also got the It Skin um, VC Effector uh, Power Ten Formula. It's basically their vitamin C serum. So this one again is one of those products which I always see that it's out of stock, but I don't see anyone talk about it. It Skin is a K Beauty brand, and I own some other uh, It Skin products as well, some of the green tea products. So when I saw this, I was like. I am going to grab this and again if you know me you know how much I love my vitamin C's uh then I also got the Pond Light moisturizer non oily fresh feel uh this one is not the one that I always rave about uh this one is um you know another Pond's moisturizer and I get a lot of questions about this one because I rave about the the other one the the gel one this one is a cream i'm pretty sure and trust me i did not know that the tub is going to be so huge like this is 250 ml and normally uh, moisturizers come with like 50 ml and uh, the, the the gel one is either i think 146 ml or 73 ml again 
I'm not sure, but this one is a huge, huge, huge tub. Like I feel like this is going to last me for a year, even if I use it every single day, because again, you don't need a lot of moisturizer. So yeah, that was a little bit of a mistake, and I hope I like it because I have a lot of product to use, and um, I will let you know once I use this how it compares to the gel one. That is my favorite holy grail. Um, now let's move on to talking about the makeup. Uh, there isn't as much makeup there is literally just like five products i repurchased the l'oreal lash paradise um, it is one of my favorite mascaras uh, ties with the maybelline the falsies push-up drama so i got this one and then we have four lipsticks i got the maybelline lip gradation in the shade pink one uh, it's also the lipstick which i'm wearing right now on my lips but it's not only this i mixed another lipstick on top because uh, this one on its own was looking a little bit more like on the neon side but actually one of you recommended this to me because i was looking for a nice warm pink and uh, the like uh, you know if you were the one who recommended this to me thank you so much i really like the color i don't think i like it on its own but i'm really happy that you know you chipped in and you recommended um this lipstick to me so thank you so much um i also got the maybelline um touch of spice lipstick i don't know why i'm reading the name because i remember the name so well uh this is my first maybelline lipstick ever and i know some of you might judge me uh no it's actually not my first maybelline lipstick or maybe it is i mean i bought both of these together but i've never ever owned a maybelline lipstick before and i know some of you are going to judge me for that but touch of spice is always 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 out of stock and it's one of the most popular nude shades so i know this is the one that i want to get if i'm getting one of them and i was so happy to actually see this in stock so that's the reason why i bought these two i haven't tried that spice yet but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna love it and then uh, when faces had an offer i bought uh, natural coco number 12 from their uh, intense matte lips plus primer range it's basically their lip crayon range and they had an offer that if you buy more than 1000 i believe uh, you get um, another one of these lipsticks free so the free one was the magnetic 02 and let me tell you both of these shades are very similar I feel like natural cocoa is a little bit like it's like a nice base color. Okay, this is a little brown and this is a little bit more pink, but on the lips it looks very very close to each other. So if you have one, you don't need the other. Is what I'm trying to tell you because they are really similar to each other. Uh, and um, I bought this one, which is why the amount crossed one thousand. This is the Faces Canada All Time Pro Illuminating Powder. It's basically their highlighter and uh, this is what it looks like it is a little bit more on the golden side but i have used this i'm pretty sure i've used this because this is one of the products that my best friend owns and i'm i'm pretty sure i've used it at least once if not more uh, like i've used hers and i really liked it i love the way it looks on her and i'm pretty sure i've used it myself and i i really liked the product so i decided to get this one as well i feel like i don't have a lot of highlighters in my collection and even though i don't use a lot of highlighters i feel like you know being on youtube i need to talk about uh i need to talk about them a little more so i decided to get this one and i was pretty sure that i'm gonna really like it so i got this and that is all the makeup the last product the last product we're gonna talk about is the uh, Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. Again, I got this for my hashtag Both the Hype series because this is a very, very hyped up product. It's like a cult, bestseller, most popular selling product by Laneige. And I did get the smaller size. This is the 25 ml. Uh, this is what it looks like. And I feel like even though it might look really small, but this is probably going to last me for like a whole month. So I will be able to give you guys a good review on this. So again, stay tuned um, if you're interested to know uh, how this one works or at least what I think about it. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Those were all the products. Um, again, like I told you, this is definitely going to be a longer video, but I really, really hope that you know, got a good idea about um, all the products that I'm, uh, I currently own. If you want me to review anything in specific, please leave a comment in the, uh, in the comment section. And that way I will know that you want to see a review. So I will like test it out first because I know testing and trying out all these products is going to probably take me like six months or more so uh yeah you'll have to 
you know stay tuned and like be a little bit patient but if there's something you specifically again one meter review let me know and yeah that is pretty much it for this video i'm not gonna make it any further longer thank you so 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 much for watching again if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe and yeah that is it thank you so 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 much for watching you guys until next time bye bye bye